week I did a seven day fast and I wanted to talk a little bit about what has changed for me since I did that. Um, just to be clear, the it wasn't entirely a seven day fast. Uh, I did the first day with blended fruit juice, five days with uh, just water and the last day again with blended fruit juice. Some people might call that a five day fast. Felt like seven days to me. Uh, in fact, it was a great experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, many things have been slightly adjusted since doing it. First thing I've noticed is an overall appreciation of smells and flavors. Um, now that I'm back to eating again, I um, it, it's kind of like approaching these foods for the first time again, where you, you take a bite and you remember how wonderful it is. So I suppose one of the clearest things that's come to me since not eating solid food for seven days is, is just this feeling of appreciation for the food that I do eat. And perhaps taking my time with it a bit more, so every mouthful, just chewing on it a little bit longer, appreciating it a little bit more. Uh, which has been great. I've been really enjoying testing out all the different foods again. Another thing that, um, that I've noticed very strongly is the feeling that I'm left with after eating the food. So I've become conscious that many of the foods that I was eating previously, prior to the fast that is, uh, many of the foods I was eating were quite acidic. But I, I had lost my connection to that. I think after years of eating these acidic foods, by acidic I mean um, bread, for example, or you know carb-based stuff, pasta, um, coffee, wine. Um, yes. So prior to the fast, I didn't really feel anything different when I had those things. Now I really do. Um, I feel acidic almost immediately. I mean, coffee is a, is a slightly separate subject. Coffee is <laughs> so intense now, it's almost too much. Um, I struggle in the mornings, I must say. I, I, uh, I thought it would be easier than it has been to just stop drinking coffee in the morning. The first coffee I had after the fast was pretty horrible, actually. It was so intense. Uh, my heart was beating so fast, I, I didn't enjoy it at all. And I said to myself in that moment, I'm never having coffee again. Of course, two mornings later, and you're like this, and you know the the morning routine is so ingrained in my life. Um, coffee first thing, you know, you almost don't even think. You just wake up, have coffee. Um, yeah, I'm gonna break that. <laughs> break that. I am breaking that now. It's not necessary. Feel that acidity. It's is wrong. It's it's there's a better. There are better ways to wake yourself up in the morning. Um, so that's another thing, I've just become much more conscious of how acidic my body becomes after certain things. So now that I'm aware of this, my intention is to cut down on these things and potentially eliminate them. Um, I do love a good glass of wine. I think I was just pushing it that bit too far, the glass would be kind of a full one. Maybe it just needs to be quarter glass. <laughs> one more thing. Um, is the quantity of food that I require to feel full has gone down. I guess my stomach shrunk, so you know now I need to eat less, um, which is great. You feel fuller quicker, um, and I think um, I just have this feeling that I eat too much, a lot, if I'm really enjoying the meal, then I want more, and have more, and uh, I kind of overdo it, um, sometimes, not very often, but um, yeah, just conscious that we, we don't really need as much as we think we do sometimes, and maybe we should be not aiming to eat until we're full, but until we have just a feeling of satisfaction everything in place, not feeling a sense of hunger anymore. You don't have to eat until you're... <clears throat> My dad used to say, F-U-T-T-T, -T -T, full up tummy touch table. 
doesn't need to be F-U-T-T-T. Just feeling good, not hungry anymore. I've noticed the kids do that a lot. They, they eat you know, a quarter of their meal and then they kind of want to have a run around. They feel like they're done because they're not hungry anymore. And in fact, that seems to be the most natural way, really. We don't have to sit and devour a huge plate in one sitting. So yeah, one more thing. I have noticed there's a difference in hunger feelings. Okay, so if I have a big meal in the evening, I will have this, this kind of sense of hunger in my stomach the next morning. Um, I feel really hungry sometimes, you know, hungry enough to do beans and eggs and toast and you feel like you need this big feast. But it's not really hunger, that feeling. It's different from the hunger that you have, you know, when your stomach's empty, you haven't eaten for three days. Um, yeah, but it's deceptive. Feels like hunger. Feels like something that we recognize as a feeling that is only resolved by eating. But this is not accurate. The feeling is created by enlarging our stomach the night before. I'm not actually sure about the the physics of it, but something happens which gives us the feeling like we need more food, but in fact we don't. What we probably need is to fast, drink lots of water and let that food move through our body before eating some more. So yeah, that's another realization. There's, there's two kind of distinct, different types of hunger and it's important to get in touch with the body and figure out which type of hunger you're experiencing when you're experiencing it. So that's it. Four points that I have taken away from my fast. And I suppose further to that, I want to say that I feel very drawn to do it again. Um, I do. I feel like doing it regularly. Potentially, every couple of weeks, do three days, perhaps. Three days every couple of weeks. Um, I feel like I'd like to dedicate a whole month to it sometime when I've got the appropriate month. I feel like I want to push it as far as I can. 40 days, who knows? <laughs> Seems to be all the rage at the moment. There's a bunch of people on YouTube all doing 40 day water fasts. So why not? What a blast. <laughs> okay, that's me for now. Catch you next time. Yeah.